Like, this is the role I don't hold out. So. <laughs> I wanted to write something about the friendships that exist between gay men because um, they're such a sustaining part of my life and I haven't really seen something that I relate to on stage. And separately from that, I wanted to write something about terrorism. And I did not expect that the two plays would eventually become <laughs> one. But I'm a big CNN junkie, and I just kind of keep it going as background noise. And I hear these conversations consistently about threats to America, um, and in one form as terrorists who are not like us and they hate our values and um, and they must be stopped and people that want to get gay married who hate our values and hate America and they must be stopped and it made me really start thinking about the sense of other that we apply to things that we're afraid of um, you know and in that case you know, in that respect it, there is no difference between the way people describe a terrorist and the way people describe a drag queen. Yeah. I don't understand it, I'm afraid of it, and I want to put a stop to it. And for the gay community, it left me with a question of how long can you be demonized before the instinct to fi fight back becomes impossible to ignore? In my mind, I knew that the play was called Angry Fags. I just didn't want to admit it um, because I didn't know how I would tell my mother the title of the play when it was eventually released. <laughs> One of her horror moments will be seeing my name under that word because it has been used against me since I was eight years old. And that's why I wanted to do it because I'm tired of people owning this word that they use against me and people that I love. But this is a comedy though. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a comedy with a body count. Yeah. <laughs> Theater exists so that people sit up and pay attention. Um, and I believe the best way to make people sit up and pay attention is if you make them laugh while you do it. So we need you guys to be a part of it. We want you to be a part of all of the incredible programming that's going on. We want you to come and uh, have conversations with us, and that's what we're hoping that we're creating right. by uh, producing Angry Fags and everything else that's lined up this season, is to get you to talk to your friends and family and coworkers and neighbors and spheres of influence in your community. And to laugh, we want you to right. laugh. The reason that Angry Fags is being done at Seven Stages is because Seven Stages is the sort of theater that is unafraid to put angry fags on a marquee. Absolutely. And the fact that they are willing to do that means they are worthy of your exploration. <laughs> because this theater has guts. Yeah. This theater is unafraid to start a tough conversation in a really, really unexpected way. Right. Um, and they've been doing it for a while, so they kind of got the hang of it. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know them, you need to know them. And if you think you know them, you don't know what's going on right now. <laughs>